Hey you, what's going on people? How are you doing today? Alright, so this is just uh, another video I'm adding uh, to my last video that uh, I've just uh, torn apart my entire engine over here and uh, I was just about to replace the seals and start packing the engine but then it occurred to me, oil cooler you know, uh, high-end motorcycles like uh, BMW S1000, R, Yamaha R1, ZX10 I think yeah, these motorcycles are both liquid-cooled and oil-cooled, you know and this motorcycle is also facing an overheating issue this is one of the major issues with this motorcycle and this uh, RC390 definitely needs an oil cooler um, the radiator remains on all the time during the uh, when your speed is like below 50 km per hour so yeah uh, in my previous motorcycle Chrisma ZMR that motorcycle was already oil cooled so I added another oil cooler just to you know uh, resolve the overheating issue but in this case i'm gonna add an oil cooler all right i'm gonna show you step by step instruction on how to do that okay. now that i've got myself an open engine but you don't need to do that all right you don't need to tear apart the entire engine the right crankcase cover is sitting over here i'm gonna eliminate the oil uh, filter of this motorcycle the stock oil filter and i'm gonna put two pipes inside weld it over and i'm gonna use uh, some car fuel filter and uh, i'm gonna use it as an oil filter it's gonna act as an inline oil filter all right so I'm gonna show you step by step the instruction on how to do that you know uh, you don't need to tear apart the entire engine it just occurred to me while I was working on this engine so let me show you uh, what's going on here uh, this is where the oil filter goes this right here this portion let me just uh, zoom on it you can see there are two pipes behind number one this is your oil filter and this is what it looks like so the flow let me show you the motion uh, the oil goes in there and it comes out of this line all right so what happens is that uh, this entire area the oil filter it kind of goes like this and uh, what happens is that the outer portion of this oil filter is completely submerged in oil all right the oil is going in there and it's coming out of this pipe all right so what's actually happening is the oil is coming out of this portion over here and it's going inside this pipe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eliminate the stock air filter or sorry oil filter and I'm gonna put two pipes inside all right uh, this is where your oil pump goes and uh, this line over here as you can see behind it right over here this is where the oil goes in and it comes out of from this end all right and I'm gonna use this portion as an inlet and outlet all right so I'm gonna eliminate this one we don't need it anymore and I'm gonna put uh, a giant hole inside this cap and I'm gonna put another hole over here I'm gonna just completely eliminate this portion it's gonna go right inside this pipe and uh, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna cut off this portion as well mounted pipe inside we're gonna use AC air conditioner uh, copper pipes over here so, so this got myself and a radiator uh, I don't know uh, it belongs to some uh, Pajero or Blaro car you know it is an uh, it is it is the radiator of the heater it was actually all copper I've painted it black and I'm gonna mount it I'm gonna use it as an oil uh, oil cooler all right but the condition is just fine I've got it from an old junk market for like uh, 400 rupees only you can see I've already this you can see inside is copper and the condition is great but you might want to wash it and uh, put some oil inside just in case you know this uh, rusting that happened inside it's gonna disappear in no time all right so I'm gonna use this as an oil cooler uh, these are the pipes from uh, air conditioner you can use this is a 10 mm pipe and this is the cap that we had all right so just a piece of advice before you're about to weld it just remove this rubber ring all right or it's gonna melt away and uh, you can see it's gonna fit right in without any hustle let me focus on it see we're gonna mount two plastic pipes over it and uh, this is where the oil goes in and this is where the oil comes out you can see it can fit just like this all right you might want to widen out the tip so that it can fit that little sucker over there all right and don't worry about it now that we've completely bypassed the stock oil filter we're going to be using this as an oil filter all right so this is just a uh, fuel filter from Hyundai Accent and uh, we're going to be using this as an oil filter don't all right so don't worry about using one of these all right they, it won't restrict any oil flow you can see they're practically the same size so if you crack open it this you're gonna find something similar in like this inside all right so uh oh this is the setup you're gonna have to do and uh you see it's gonna go this portion it's gonna go right inside don't worry about the other this pipe you're gonna left it over here all right 
All right, let me just pack up the entire engine and uh, let me show you. You don't need to crack open the entire engine. It can be just done from the outside, all right? All right, so I've just finished packing up the entire engine in my motorcycle and uh, this is the setup you can see. Let me bring the camera closer. So this is uh, the oil filter I was talking about. This is actually a fuel filter from my Hyundai Accent. And I've mounted these two pipes, you know, I'm using this as a temporary uh, transparent pipe, you know, I just need to see it for myself, you know, whether the oil is working or not. So, you can see, uh, I've already put the bolts inside. You can see, there are two bolts and the, both of the pipes are coming out and I've mounted them. So, let me just crank up the engine and, you know, I just need to see it for myself, whether the oil is flowing or not. So it's good you can see the pressure builds up instantly when the bike is turned on let me turn it on again you can see uh, the shape of the pipe is gonna change due to pressure all right so it's working the setup is working just fine all we gotta do is uh, add an oil cooler inside in, in series to these pipes right, this is the setup I've done you know have a look see this this is the oil cooler and uh, I mounted the pipes over here, you know, originally the pipes were here and uh, I've blocked them off, welded them, you know, using uh, aluminum and uh, this is the setup and uh, this is the oil filter we're gonna use, you know, it's uh, accent, Hyundai accent fuel filter but it'll work just fine, you know, so have a look inlet and this is the outlet the oil flow is gonna be in this direction and uh, this was the oil filter cap originally painted black over it and mounted the pipes like this so this pipe is gonna go right inside our engine And this is going to be our inlet outlet and this is going to be inlet this center one is going to be inlet this is gonna be outlet and we're gonna need some pipes some locks and uh, you know this thing is gonna go right over here so let me just uh, put it on the cap first all right here we go it's gonna go like this inside Alright, see these two holes, you know, we're gonna use standard nut bolts to mount the oil cooler right over here, over here, see like this, you might want to use some washers and put the nut on. Alright, so our setup has been completed. All we gotta do is mount the pipes right over here. You know, have a look if you want. This is the setup. And this is what your oil cooler looks like. You know, make sure it does not touch the exhaust pipe. Let me get on the other side. See, there's a difference right over here. Make sure it does not touch the exhaust pipe. So this is the setup. You will be done. It's completed now. What we gotta do is uh, connect these pipes to each other. 
you know uh, this is a standard pipe you can buy it off at any local automobile store you know these locks as well all right here we go you know it's simple as that make sure to mount these locks real nice real tight Here we go. See? Alright, so our setup has been completed. I'm about to crank up the engine. You know, I'm gonna use this uh, temporary pipe, you know, transparent pipe, just to see. You know, I need to see for myself whether the oil cooler is working or not. So, alright, here we go.